We've got two lovely bottle kilns here. Aren't they gorgeous, them? That's a nice pair. Buy a boat, they said. It'll be fun. Ahoy there! If you're new to the channel, I'm Heidi and I live and work aboard my canal boat home, the Rum Wench. I also have a little camper van called Polly and this is my little travelling companion Bonnie who's a little rescue that feels she can take on the world. So if you want to watch a middle-aged woman and a dog faffing about, then join us on our weekly quest in search of adventure, fun and giggles. Good morning everyone, woohoo, it's proper cold today. We're gonna try and get through Stoke today, or get to Stoke today. This is the best day we've had to cruise for a week. It's been awful, it's been heavy rain, strong winds. So today, even though it's a bit gloomy, it is the best day we've had. We're leaving the lovely Sandy behind, but it has been really lovely having three female single-handers all more together. It's been great. Yeah, so onwards today to Stoke. And just here to the right is the Wedgwood factory that I visited the other day. So you can see how close it was to the canal for loading all those precious potteries back in the olden days. And it was much easier, as I said, going by canal than going by horse and cart on those bumpy roads. I'm just now approaching the first lock of the day. I'm traveling again today with Nikki. So she's gonna set the lock, I'll go in, and then once we've done the lock, I'll help her up. So just helping each other. It's what we do. And it makes it loads quicker. locks in Stoke are quite deep ones so you need to do these quite slowly especially when you're going up because your boat can surge forwards and backwards yeah cheers Nick it's always let the lock wheeler know when you're ready to go so once the run wench was up in the lock I then moored on the lock landing and myself and little Bonnie went back to reset the lock for Nicky So that's one lock done and we've got five more now and then we're into sort of Stoke itself and I do really love the town of Stoke, Stoke-on-Trent is his full name because the people are so friendly, real down to earth, real people and I love it, I love oat cakes, oat cakes come from Stoke and it's full of history so when we get to Stoke we'll be saying A up duck because that's how the Stokies talk, A up duck yeah and I want to get to Westport Lake, it's a brilliant place the big lake, it's lovely, and it'd be good for Bonnie then with her socialising skills, because there's lots of dogs there. So that's where we're aiming for. mentioning if you are going to come through Stoke is there's quite a few low bridges yeah and then he took me hat off on that one back there then and also because I've got a big huge long um, exhaust stack on my roof don't be rude yeah that was like that just off the top of it oh yeah so you need to duck and if you've got anything big on your roof just be careful So as you can see, we've got the old bottle kilns there because this place is steeped in history from the potteries and they still do today make a lot of pottery is based in Stoke. Hopefully as we keep progressing through Stoke, we'll see more of the potteries and those bottle kilns. And we 
we've now got our second lock of the day coming up. Me and Nikki are quite desperate at the moment, both of us needing water and emptying our rubbish. And at the top of these locks now, we've got five more, I think. There's a water point and bins, which is what we desperately need. So this one's quite a leaky lock. Yeah, right gusher. So Bonnie's really good around the locks and she's very scared of water so she's not going to try and jump in or do anything like that. This lead I got is fantastic because I can put it round my waist so I've got my hands free for doing the paddles. I'll put a link to this in the description, I got it from Amazon, it's, it's fantastic. And we've got another lock coming straight up now so I'm going to go in and do this. Yeah the only thing with Bonnie why I wouldn't have her off a lead around locks is if she sees another dog. Yeah, big one, She, because she's frightened, she barks and lunges, and I don't think she'd do anything, but it, like I said before, it puts them on the defensive, so anything can happen. And when I'm trying to keep an eye on lock paddles, boats, you know, it's a bit too dangerous. It's another low one. Woo! Wow, that is low. Yeah. It's got a bit bigger here, but that's quite low going underneath there. I've got spider poo on me hat. <laughs> and this lock is another leaky one, right gusher. I mean, look at all the water coming in there. That's before we've even opened a paddle. Two lovely bottle kilns here, aren't they gorgeous then? That's a nice pair. The old and the new. Another low one, another low bridge. We've only got two more locks to do now and then we're going to fill up with water, empty our rubbish. But the thing is, this time of year now, it goes dark about four, half four. But at the top of here, there is a Toby Carvery. So I've just been speaking to Nick and I said, let's have a treat and have a little carvery for our tea. So that's the plan if we make it before dark. People say to me, Heidi, what's Lockjes? Well, this, that's Lockjes. Woohoo! Are you a good girl doing these locks on your own? So how gorgeous is that building there? It says Bone and Flint Mill, erected yeah. in 1857. Gorgeous. So this is the last lock here of the day. I've moored below and I'm just setting it for Nikki, but it's one of those nightmare ones that takes you ages to turn. The 
pound's really low on this one. I've had to open a paddle there because Nikki can't get in. She's grounding trying to get in the lock. So in the pouring rain, I had to fill and drain this lock a couple of times just to get enough water in the pound below. And it had those really slow paddles. Got absolutely drenched. It started peeing down and Bonnie eats the rain, so I'll get her in the boat very shortly. But this is the last lock. Woo! And it's a big and very deep. put you inside as soon as we get back to the boat Bonnie I promise so that was an absolute nightmare this pound completely drained Nikki was grounded going in the lock my boat was grounded just no water at all but we just filled the lock a couple of times and we've managed to fill this pound so I think this one now this is the deepest lock in Stoke yeah massive and just like that, it went from raining to absolutely hammering it down. But there's no point me grabbing a coat now because I was already soaked. Buy a boat, they said, it'll be fun. So I've just come in now whilst my boat's filling with water. Look at this. I am just absolutely drenched to the skin there's an amazing statue over there it's James Brindley himself covered in bird poo yeah but the legend is there so I'm gonna go now empty my rubbish and uh, yeah and I don't know how far we're gonna go today now because it is starting to go dark we wanted to get to this carvery we might risk it once the rain stops we'll see but yeah I'm wetter than a mermaid's foof A few moments later. So we made it here to the Toby Carvery. Oh my goodness, it was raining so hard. We got moored up, it was just going dark. We're actually moored to a breast because there was no space. So Nikki's breasted up. Rude. But we've just passed our really good friends Gary and Nikki off Chuggabug and also Steve from Moreland Rose and these are all vloggers so we're going to sit tonight, we're going to have some food, we're going to have a drink and just catch up but after a day like today where you're wetter than a mermaid's boot, it's just what you need. So we had a fantastic night last night catching up with everyone in the pub. It was just lovely. And I'm just making up my badge orders here now. And then we're going to catch the train and nip to my parents because they're not far away now. I think they're only about 40 minutes on the train. Yeah, because I need to do some things to my camper van because as you know, in January, I'm heading off on this European adventure for a few weeks. And there's a few things I need to do. So I want to start doing that now and getting everything ready. And just before I do that, remember Michelle is doing my portrait of little Bonnie. She's done a fantastic job. So here's a little update on her now. And you can see all the little hairs she's been putting on. Fantastic. So I'll just send you over now to Michelle. Right, I've been working on Bonnie. I've still got a long way to go with it. So I'm just going to show you what I've done so far. I'm working around this area here. I'm still playing with the nose. I put her eye in. I've still got loads to do around the mouth. So really I've just been taking my time doing all the little fair bits. And I've indicated just where the shine's got to be on this eye. You can see there. She's got a little pink, pink round the mouth, Bonnie has underneath all the darkness yeah I think she's coming on nicely now I'll just show you how I mix this just saves you messing up your colours and your mixing between the two so whenever you're 
mixing just use a rubbish brush so if you get a blue and you get a black and we mix it to the blue because black isn't black you see black's got perhaps a green in or a, a brown or a blue and you know when you can mix your brown with your blue and that will give you a close sort of grey colour anyway. I just sort of try and pick out the colours but I hope ID is okay with what I've done so far. We'll see how it progresses anyway. So wow, hasn't Michelle done a fantastic job, a little bunny? Mm, yeah, she's looking gorgeous. Anyway, we're going to catch the train now and I'll see you at my little camper van. So because now I'm less than an hour's drive by car to my parents' house, I need to start working on my van and getting my van ready for my European adventure. She's now passed her MOT, thankfully, and it was fantastic. No advisories. However, earlier in the year, I did get some welding done underneath and she's had a full service. So the other thing I've sorted is Bonnie's little booster seat. And this is fantastic. It's off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description if anybody wants one. But, because it's wipeable, this actually comes out, this thing at the bottom. So it's like having a little dog bed. But the brilliant thing about it is it straps over the seat so it won't ever go anywhere. It won't move. And also it has a little lead type thing here so you can actually strap Bonnie into it. So when we're travelling together, if I do have to slam the brakes on or anything, she isn't going to be launching forward. She's going to be safe in a harness. The seat won't move. So that's brilliant. And when I turn the seat round in here, she's got a bed as well. So it's just great. And it's dead easy to take in and out as well. So if we're sat outside, I'm hoping when I get to Spain, the weather's going to be glorious. But I just don't know this time of the year. But we can put the bed outside because it's waterproof at the bottom. So I can't remember how much it was. It was about £40. I did get this, one of these seatbelt things from Amazon a while ago that I've been using and it goes in your seatbelt and then clips to Bonnie's harness but she can still move around a lot in it and still get thrown forward a lot. So, I mean, I'll still keep this for other things but I think this is a lot more secure. Yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it? You love it in there, don't you? Yeah, we've got to get everything right for Bonnie when we're going on this adventure. One of the other things I need to look at whilst I'm here is some power alternatives. Because I'm going away for six to eight weeks, this little 23, 24 year old van has only got one little leisure battery and no space for any more. Now that's great for powering the lights and like my pumps, you know, the water pump and the toilet flush, things like that. But I'm using my cameras every day. I've got a drone. Now I have got my Bluetti, which I absolutely adore. I love it. So I've tried it and I can get three days out of that Bluetti charging all my cameras, my iPad and working on my laptop every day. I have got my solar panels to charge the Bluetti, which is fantastic, but I can't do that whilst I'm driving and I can't do that whilst I'm on an adventure because they'll get nicked. So I need to be by the van, stationary, somewhere that I can actually get the solar panels out to charge. So yeah, so it's making sure that when I'm off on these adventures that I do find places that I can do that this time of year. Oh, it's gonna be an adventure, guys. It really is. The other thing that I've done whilst I've been here is got rid of loads of these cushions because this whole area here where little Bonnie is, this seat here, this thing, it goes into a massive king-size bed. But I'm on my own. <laughs> So you're carrying all those extra cushions, they're normally stored in the top locker there, but I need all the space for my stuff. So I'm just going to have a little single bed, which is enough for me and little Bonnie. And lots of people last time asked, where do I sleep in this van? And I sleep on this little single bed here, this bench. It does pull out, so it's quite wide. And the driver's seat, that goes forward, pushes forward. There's a piece of foam that slots in between there. So it's a full six foot length which is enough for me and Bonnie. But it does give me, like I say, a lot more space, getting rid of all the extra cushions. I gain a full big locker up there for crap. And, and yeah, and that's all me and little Bonnie need.
So I'm back on the boat now and it's not going to be long till I'm going on this big European adventure. So I'm going to try and do a little bits on the van and ready for my travels over the next couple of weeks because I'm going in January. But I've brought back all this lovely amazing stuff that's been sent to me so thank you so much. I've got these lovely treats and some rum from Carolyn or Caroline as she's written in the card. I've got some lovely French Bulldog socks and a little like wooden plaque thing <laughs> from Mark off the slush boat so thank you so much Mark. And then from Deb and Steve I've got this lovely Kraken set, some glasses, um, a bottle of Dead Man's Fingers. Yeah, and this one is raspberry rum liqueur. So we're going to be giving that a go now. So we'll use this little pirate glass. It's got a little pirate etched on it. When I say little, we're having a big one tonight. And we'll have some of this. Woohoo! And just while I say I'm pouring this, just a big thank you to all those that bought me a coffee this week. Thank you so much. Your name should be appearing here. Look at that, it's pink. Oh, look at that. Will you love it? Yeah, you can have a dog treat in a minute, Bonnie. <laughs> so look at that, raspberry rum cream liqueur. Yeah, so cheers, everyone. Woohoo! Mm. <sighs> it tastes like milkshake. It tastes like pop. Oh, yeah, I could down that really easily. Mmm, that's nice. Let's have a look. Oh, it's only 15%. Yeah, we could have loads of that. Yeah, drink twice as much. Yeah, so if you have enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up it really helps subscribe down below just before I go just a massive thank you for all your support buying badges watching the videos for going over to Michelle and you know Michelle the artist how talented is she just for going and visiting her website just thank you so much everybody it just means the world to us all so yeah so I'm going to leave the video there so take care stay safe and just a massive huge thank you to my patrons who help me every single week thank you so much anyway i'll see you next week be safe oh, that's nice oh. look at that so that's ros look at that so that's raspberry rum So look at that, raspberry rum cream. So look at, oh shit, for fuck's sake, my nipples.